that that is probably a, a, a big takeaway that what we're saying isn't necessarily <laughs> you know what we mean what we mean it, i don't right. know why we do that <laughs> I, I, i've been guilty of it too did you push record Thanks again for joining us on Second Act TV. Diane Forster is with us for one more segment talking about finding happiness as we recreate and reinvent life after 50. Diane, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me, Silka. Great to be here. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad to have you back. Uh, I was just on Diane's show, by the way, and we'll link to that. Diane is the creator and host of I Have Today with Diane Forster. She is a mindset and intentional living mentor, a coach. <laughs> You've helped thousands of women live a happier life, come into their true self after 50. Today, or in this segment, let's talk about happiness as it relates to, well, our relationships, in our relationship. And so much of that has to do with communication. And my goodness, we know, you know, the, the Mar men are from Mars, women are from Venus <laughs> when it comes yes. to that. Uh, let, let's talk about what men might want to know and appreciate knowing about how women think and, and, and how we can get past a lot of this friction that we're experiencing, especially as we've been thrown together the way we have here for the, yes. the last few months. <laughs> yes, which has really been a challenging time for a lot of people. Domestic abuse, violence is up, and it's just, it's horrific. And depression is up, suicides are up. So thank you for this platform and offering this, this work out into the world. I so appreciate you for what you do too. Uh, well. You know, we know happiness. I, I did a I did a program and I did some research and found that the the people that I surveyed, seventy percent of them said they were unhappy. Seventy percent. So it really is epidemic. And how this relates to to women and relationships and men wanting to understand the way women think is so. This applies to women too. This applies to communication in general. general. Is it's never what was said, it's always what was heard. Very good. So you might say something to her and have it be benign and innocent, but the way she received it is all that really matters. She could hear it in a totally different way. And I know that causes so much conflict because you're, you're speaking Greek and I'm hearing Chinese and the, the disconnect happens in the communication process. So. Yeah. One way to alleviate that is a simple, you know, process that's been around for years, and that's mirroring and mirror back what someone has just said to you before, before it gets, you know, escalates into something or turns into an argument or you feel misunderstood or, you know, he never, he never understands me or she doesn't understand me is to mirror back. And if, and if she's saying, and then hear, hear the statement under the statement. So if it's a blanket statement that you never do this or you always do that, there's something deeper going on here. Yeah. So say, okay, I, I, what I heard you just say is, is this, but is there something else there? Like what's really going on here? And allow that room to really open up for a deeper, deeper conversation. Now, that's a great point. And, and incidentally, I know we're, you know, we're titling this what men need to know. One, one of the reasons is because it's a good title for YouTube. <laughs> uh, but what we do always on Second Act, it's really, it's about both of us. And right. uh, what I've also found helpful is in these conversations that women don't really understand or some of us don't understand what we're doing. Uh, so by hearing you describe it like this, it's very helpful for both sides. So please continue. <laughs> Yeah, my pleasure. And, um, you know, what I also want to say about this is um, uh, for the men, let's do the men's side first. And actually, this actually should apply to both sides. But but I'm speaking, you know, in particular to the men right now, because ladies, you're going to appreciate me saying this right now. She is showing you how she wants to be loved by the way she's loving you. Her, her acts of kindness, her physical touch, you know, the, you know, the five love languages, she's showing you what she needs by the way she's loving you. 
and and probably vice versa, ladies. So um, that's something to pay attention to in the communication because if you feel like uh, it, it's unweighted, you know, more is happening. I feel like I'm doing more. I'm contributing more into this relationship. It's from your perspective of what you value as showing love and giving love. And the other person's perspective could be totally different, could be aligned. You know, there's going to be some symmetry there, but the way they express it is very, very different. I had a client and she said that to me that her, her, you know, her boyfriend said, you know, you don't love on me enough. And, and she got really defensive. And I said, did you ever ask him, well, what does that look like to you? You know, what's the de definition of that? And she said, no. And I said, you might want to ask him that question. Yeah. Because how illuminating would that be? So if you want to live a happier, more fulfilling life in your relationship, that's the communication that, that we want to tie into. So yeah. that is um, such a great point that we yeah. expect the other person just either just know or or think the way we do. You no, know, right. and, and both sides do that. And, and right. that's one of the, the biggest mistakes. And you will always be disappointed uh, if you expect the other person to know what you want. And, and, and I think women are more uh, uh, guilty of that, I think, a, a bit than men. We expect, yes. me, and I, we've done other videos on this, men to read our minds. Because somehow that, right. that, that, that's some sort of fulfill. I, I don't know. I, and I'm guilty of it. So I'm not, you know, I'm not, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. that's why I like talking about these segments because a lot of, you know, again, you know, in 10 minutes, we don't solve the problems of the world or communication and relationships, but we bring awareness to stuff we do and how we, you know, we may be hurting or helping our relationship. Exactly. It's so true. And you, the, these little, you know, micro changes, like you said, creating the awareness, I call it the ABCs, awareness begets change. Once you're aware of something, then you can start to make a change towards something better, yeah. something more fulfilling. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the, um, and, and I guess, you know, again, we're directing this video, you know, we're titling it towards men. And, and I get that, that is probably a, a big takeaway is to get that clarification that what we're saying isn't necessarily, <laughs> you know, what we mean, what we mean. I don't right. know why we do that. <laughs> I, I, I've been guilty of it too. And, and, and even in communication I've had with women, my daughter, sisters, friends, I've said something and they, they heard something else. So that happens too. Sometimes we don't even know what we're saying. Right. We've got, that's why mirroring back is really good. Like what I just heard you say was this, it was, is, is there something else going on here? So you can create that awareness and go, Oh, maybe, I, maybe I'm not even aware that I'm speaking this way. This is the way I'm communicating. Right. So, and again, no ego, no judgment. You know, it's it's all about you know kindness and respect for one another. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, and and be willing to be wrong. Oh yeah. <laughs> be willing to say I'm sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Forgive me. Yeah. That's that's not what I meant. And yeah, that's a huge thing. I know ego is a played a big role in my previous marriage of the, you know, who's right and who's wrong scenario. Nobody wins in that scenario. So yeah, embrace your differences and, and understand you are different beings. You think differently, you communicate differently, you love differently and, and you show your love differently. Yeah. yeah. Well, Diane, we're coming to the end of the segment as well. These go by fast. Maybe I should be doing longer segments. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, to tie this up, anything you want to leave our audience with before we sign off? Yeah, you know, just um, I just want to tap back into the happiness piece of it. And I know we were talking about relationships and communication and what we're thinking. Um, but but keep your happiness at the forefront of it. What would make me happy today? And, and, and express your love openly and honestly, you know, don't hold that back. Give that. That is such a gift to somebody else. And when you give that, you get that, you receive it. And that's not why you do it. That's just the bonus that comes along with it. So yeah. Beautiful. Yeah.
Thank you. Thank you. Diane, thank you so much. We will link back to your YouTube channel. I have today with Diane Forster. We have all the links in the show notes. And I thank you so much for, uh, you know, for joining me. I had a great time talking uh, to you as always. And we'll see you next time on our second act with Paige and Silka. Thanks, Silka. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. The button is right over here. Just click on through to YouTube. And when you see the little bell right next to the subscribe button, hit that too. We'll notify you every time we launch a new video. See you next time.